Welcome to Saving the Past. I am GD. I'm glad you could all join me today. Well, today I'm doing a special package opening. I, um, and I have to apologize, uh, Chris. It has been a while since I have been to the P.O. Box, so I don't know how long this has been sitting there, but I'm pretty excited to open it to see what is in here. This came all the way from Wales. And um, I'm pretty excited to see what might be in here. Let's just see. We'll get this opened. Uh, there is a note in here as well, so I'll read that on the side before I show it to make sure there's nothing personal in there. Just bear with me one second. Yes, okay. Well, I'll read the note first here because um, it looks like it looks like it is safe to read. It says, Hi GD, please find enclosed a George the Fourth three pence from nineteen thirty six. It's ninety percent silver. Uh, the rest is copper alloy. Traditionally in the UK you would have found one of these in a Christmas pudding along with a sixpence and maybe a shilling or two. Um, unfortunately, health and safety would have a heart attack today if such a practice were to reoccur. I can imagine that, Chris, yes. Um, I would imagine that would raise a lot of eyebrows, but I think it's a great thing that uh, they used to do. Anyhow, I hope it adds value to your collection and brings you as much joy um, as the rest. Kind regards. Stay safe, Chris. Well, thank you, Chris. I sure do appreciate that. I will save that letter and um, let's see what we've got in here. I do not. I have a few um, um, English pennies. Actually, I showed one here in a recent video I did where somebody sent me some coins from World War II and um, I was going through some of my coins that I have stashed away I haven't looked at in years and I did find a couple other English pennies and um, that's about it that I have for English coins. So this is going to be a nice start because I do want to start collecting some other types of coins and it looks like I got ink on my fingers there but you did a good job on packing this, Chris. Let's see. We got that out of the way. And um, sure enough, it is a beautiful coin. Let's see if I can bring this up a little bit closer without distorting it. Um, and a portrait of King George on there. And let's see here. I'm not familiar with these coins, so... Uh, this says 1936 and uh, three pence around the outside and it looks like there's egg corns. I don't know what the leaves are there but uh, maybe Chris when um, I post this you could step in and give a little bit more detail about um, the symbols that are on this coin. I'd love to know a little bit more about them and it looks like they do. Nope, these go left to right, unlike um, American coins where you flip this way. So we've got the date on this side, and this must be the obverse on it. And um, that is just one gorgeous little coin. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that, Chris. Uh, and um, I will treasure this. This will go into my collection, and um, your letter... I've received other letters from other people, and um, I have a notebook that, um, with uh, pages in it that I keep uh, letters and stickers that I've received from other people. So um, this will take a place of honor along with those. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, very brief today, folks. Um, gold and silver has uh, made a little bit of a move up again this morning, and it's starting to pull back now. Um, I'm not going to go into details about what uh, my thinking is for uh, where gold and silver is going to go because I've mentioned it many a times before. But um, 
Um, it's nice to see that it is making a little bit of a movement again here today. Uh, and uh, we will just see what it decides to do. Is it going to want to pull back to 25 for silver? Is it going to want to break out of 30? I guess we'll know sometime in the near future. And gold made a little break above 2000 again today. And um, it uh, looks like it's pulled back just a little bit here this morning. Um, but again, I, I have uh, said many times before, gold is where my um, concentration has always been the highest in. So I would love to see that uh, break that 2000 level and head on up to 2500 here sometime this year. It would be a nice sight to see. Um, Silver, I don't know if it's going to break 30 or not, but uh, if it does, then 35 is the next step along the line. But folks, um, I, I hope you enjoyed this. This is a beautiful little coin, and I will treasure it. Thank you so much, Chris. And uh, to any of you that um, are just stopping in for the first time to see my channel, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit the like button if you like what you see here. Um, share the video. It would be very helpful. I would appreciate that. And uh, to all of you that have been with me for a long time, uh, you know I appreciate you guys, every one of you. Thank you so much. And thank you again, Chris. Looking forward to seeing what you uh, can tell us about this coin. And uh, in the meantime, I will probably do a little research on it. I love it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. This is GD. Take care.